The Book of Henry is a 2017 independent film that's directed by Colin Trevorrow, who's mostly known for uh, directing the most recent Jurassic World, which is, I think, still the third highest grossing film of all time, somehow. But anyway, it follows the Carpenter family, and it starts off sh just showing uh, life and how it is in their small town until the oldest son, Henry, who is basically a certified genius, uh, believes that something sinister is happening in his neighborhood. Jane Lieberher, who I had actually recently praised for his role as Bill in, in the most recent uh, iteration of Stephen King's It, he plays Henry in this film, and I hadn't seen him before um, It, and this came before, so it's kind of, it's really good to see that um, the kid's not a fluke. He doesn't just give one performance because he's really good in this one. And two, we have Naomi Watts as Henry's mother, uh, Susan, I think. All I can say is that it's, it's Naomi Watts. You know that she's either going to be really good or just great. And she does a really good job with this character. But the problem is that even though she gives a good performance, she's portraying a very shitty character. I mean, this is a mom who who does nothing but uh, works in a diner, then when she gets home, uh, plays Gears of War, or um, just goes out drinking with her girlfriend, or friends, no, just friend. And on top of that, she has Henry doing the bills, which I get it, he's a genius, he can do whatever he wants, and he's really good at doing their taxes for them, as well as um, investing in stocks. But even a mother should know how to do this shit when... <sighs> Sorry, it just really, it fucking pissed me off at the fact that not only is she allowing him to do it, but she doesn't know how to do it in the first place, so that's why she's making him do it. My favorite aspect of the film is in its originality. Now, I didn't know anything about the film going in, but the film starts off and it just feels like this really quirky, nice family uh, story, you know, you got the... You got the genius kid who's very creative, likes to tinker and such. And then the film takes a dark, uh, kind of serious turn that I really didn't expect. But then on top of that, a few, like maybe 10, 15 minutes later, it, it gets even more serious. It takes an even darker turn. And for that, it, it really surprised me. I had no idea what was going on for the first, um, I'd say about uh, two acts. I had no idea what the hell was going on, and I actually enjoyed it, but it actually ruined the film a bit for me, because in the in that first half, it has a lot of issues uh, focusing on, you know, what, what should this film be focusing on? Should it be focusing on this thing, or this thing? And this thing they focus on a little too long, and then they go back to this. The plot really picks up uh, in the second half. But, sadly, it's counteracted with, uh, really predictable plot points. And there's even this thing where a lot of the characters are making decisions that are being suggested to them, and I'm sitting there thinking, why are you doing this? You're... You guys are so much smarter, at least I think you're smarter, than you're acting right now. And it just made me want to scream, because I'm looking at my phone, and they're doing this shit, and... I'm pro this is probably a word that a lot of you are gonna hate me saying, but I just have to say it. This... Oh, my alarm went off. I don't know what for, but... <laughs> where was I? Oh yeah, just the reasoning behind everything was fucking retarded. <sighs> what? Why would you say that word? In the end, do I recommend uh, Book of Henry to you guys? Yes, but with a, with a, a bit of a condition just to see if maybe you guys can enjoy it more than I did. Because I'm glad that I saw it, but I will not be seeing it again. And just as a standard rating, I'm just gonna give it a... Yeah, I'm gonna give it a 2 out of 5 reels. It's just, it's not for me. Well, that'll do it for me today. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already for more reviews and content. And just thanks for checking out my channel and listening to me ramble for a few minutes. Thanks for watching, and farewell, until the next video. Bye.